Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Ryan back with a, another reaction video and today, guess who we're reacting to? Topic of the moment, Johnny Gilbert. Okay, so uh, this song is called Everyone Loves to Judge. Uh, I can't remember when this was released. I just loaded up a bunch of uh, Johnny Gilbert songs and I was just like, right, I'm going to react to these all in one go. Hence the, uh, the same clothes. I do change my clothes on a daily basis guys don't worry um, but yeah no I'm really excited to listen to this uh, I've just ended up reacting to uh, him Jake and Young Scuff which was a real kind of metal -y kind of vibe which we want to come out of the darkness into the whatever this is going to be if this is dark as well then I'm pretty fucked but um, yeah let's see what happens and uh, yeah excited thank god <laughs> everyone loves to judge it seems you're having fun Criticizing someone you don't know Does the judgment take That's a nice chord. Straight away I heard that kind of change and I was like, mate, that is dope. Criticizing someone you don't know Does the judgment take a toll? Aren't people allowed to grow? You say so, but you don't like growth so throw me on the ground and spit in my face Tell the world how much you hate me Tell the world how much you hate me Tell the world how much you hate me So, so far it is catchy. When you have, uh, just from a point of view of songwriting, singing, lyricism, production, whatever, uh, repeating a line is a very common uh, kind of tactic used in uh, commercial music especially to make a song memorable and to get it in someone's head so the idea is basically that um, if a melody is easy to pick up it's uh, memorable uh, then you know people are more likely to get it in their heads and sing it and not be able to stop singing it it's the same thing for using a line over and over again to like tell them you know what he said there he said it like two or three times so um, from a songwriting point of view I can see this is intended to be a catchy song so yeah so far i dig it and also the trousers are cool as well <laughs> much you hate me tell the world how much you hate me you don't even know me tell the world how much you fucking hate me let me guess if it goes to another side of the chorus it's like tell the world how much you hate me leave my name not quite <laughs> Love it. Bass and drums. Let's go. It's hollow verse two. I love this. When it kind of comes out of a full chorus and goes into like a real kind of brought down verse and it then builds back up into that other chorus, it's a really good dynamic um, kind of approach to writing a song. It's something that, um, I, it depends how you write your songs, but something I, I tend to do is I'm like, right, okay, so I, verse one's going to be sort of 50%, chorus is going to go up to like 80 percent and then it's going to bring down maybe to like 35 40 percent on verse two for the first half bring it up um, anyway before i ramble on basically it's all to do with dynamics in the song and progression and this song so far is capturing that pretty well so i'm freaking out i always had a bad feeling about you that's funny because i've never met you you'll just go around and judge me like you that bass line is cool as well do one day you love me the next day we're through i'm hurting at 6 30. there we go builds in the second half like i said no one seems to care what i think that's all right because i like to be the only one who cares for me tell the world how much you hate me tell the world how much you hate me you don't So good. Leave my name out of your mouth. I'm so sick of the hate. I am breaking down at you. Act like you know what I'm all about. Leave my name right out of your mouth. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. 
This is really cool, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'll um, I'm gonna comment more on the end when when the song's done. But my kind of perception and one of the biggest reasons why I I didn't listen to Johnny Gilbert, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, is um, usually when YouTubers kind of do music, um, it's not quite as good as what people necessarily. Um, how do I put this? Uh, people who aren't YouTubers that you know come into music from doing music you know they're typically better but um, you know something that I've learned and has humbled my opinion is that this guy is, is fucking talented and he can write songs and he can sing and I mean mate you, you've got the fan base and the uh, and obviously the personality to go with the music as well so um, the first occasion that I ever discovered that Johnny Mill, uh, Johnny, what am I on about? Johnny Gilbert did music. Was uh, I listened to an emo artist called Say We Can Fly, and um, he was going on a tour with Johnny Gilbert. I think Johnny Gilbert was headlining potentially, and um, I was like, mate, no one's going to beat Say We Can Fly because Say We Can Fly is like the king of emo music. But um, you know what? These I'm being pleasantly surprised right now. I can't lie to you guys. I wonder if he played that, that'd be really cool. If he played that guitar, he's fucking, he's dope. Tell the world how much you hate me. Tell the world how much you hate me. You don't even know me. Tell the world how much you fucking hate me. Leave my name out of your mouth. This is so good. I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. 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 Right, there's one thing I would have loved to have heard that he didn't do, uh, but it's not to say it's a bad thing, but I just I heard it in my head like it was going to come and it didn't come. Uh, so. Mouth, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Tell the world how much I'm you freaking out. Tell the world for me. I'm freaking out. You know that kind of thing, like in the background. That'd have been, that'd have been so sick. Freaking out. That's so good. Mate, I have officially been humbled to my usual perception on things. So, like I said earlier in the video, I usually I don't really tend to invest my time checking out music from YouTubers because it's just something that you know. Usually, nine times out of ten, when I have listened to a YouTuber that does music, it's not been fantastic it's been good but it's not been like you know something that i would necessarily want to listen to over and over again um so for a long time you know i've always kind of been aware of who johnny gilbert is um but not necessarily listen to his music and for, that's not the only reason but um it's the only real contributing factor that i can really say um you know other than being you know, lazy and being like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna listen to what I know, and that's that's it. That's you know, the reasons. But um, honest to God, like, he's really good, and yeah, it's the quality surprised me. Like, what I wasn't expecting was the production quality and the level of skill when it comes to in instrumentation and stuff. So that guitar solo in that song, for example, and the bass. Like, even I know bass isn't necessarily. A hard instrument or whatever but it's how you play it that makes the difference uh, and that bass line had a real kind of groove to it uh, along with the drums and 
just the whole song just gelled really really well together so yeah honestly guys this song is so fucking good and he's talented so i can't really say much more than that and yeah 100 percent. that's obviously that's why i have um been on this kind of journey of listening to all of the songs uh from him basically so this is probably like my seventh reaction video of one of his songs now so uh i'm yeah i'm hooked man it's dope and uh, I can't wait to listen to more. So, cool. If you like this reaction video, then leave a like and comment. Uh, if you have another one you want me to listen to, put it in the comments, you know the drill. Follow the socials, check out my covers, my original music, and most importantly, have a great day, guys. So, thank you for watching.